Hello, Raccoon7, and welcome back to Commission Black Sea in this head-to-head -head game against Chap. Heading into what is actually turn 19 this time, unlike my false uh, promises last time that was turn 18. Uh, yep, so heading into this one, we've got areas of interest and things to try and harass his forces in this forest. I should believe there may be even two Bradleys tucked away in there. Uh, and also continue to try and eradicate the remnants of his troops out in this infantry, out in this flank, so we can kind of secure ownership of that major VP and potentially try and get something into a flanking position here uh, to kind of help suppress the forces in these forests. And that's probably a bit of a tale of a turn, so let's uh, just hit replay and see what happens. Okay, so we've lost our UAV cover there. Okay, they've still got some guys in the forest. I need to see what type of troops they are. He's popped up again, and away again, yeah. He definitely seems to have the timing required for uh, not getting hit by a javelin. You need to watch yourself if these gentlemen have a javelin. Oh, and they got wiped out, that's uh, brutal. Okay. Uh, I didn't... Were you firing? You were supposed to be firing. No. Okay, so it's annoying me to be firing because we know there's troops in there. Looked like he was trying to push a few more in towards the end. Yeah, we see them moving now. It's fine, we can deal with those. Who or what are you? Another javelin team. Not shocked to see that. Um, and then we do lose sight of yeah, the infantry there, so we don't really know what happens to that one. Uh, yeah, unfortunate over here. So these guys, all three of them seem to get absolutely millered. Let's see what happens. Okay, so all oh, right, okay. So our near our near fire from our own Bradley has probably got these guys suppressed. Interestingly, not these guys. Just lob a grenade. Get them all out. Nice. Disappointing. Yeah, I find that very frustrating. Uh, I mean, understandable that we were, you know, under suppression given all the 25 mil that's rocking through the forest. Disappointing that those guys uh, were not similarly suppressed. Alright, another bit we're going to have a look at was we start to come under fire here. There. Oh, I've gone too far. Hang on. Okay, just Bradley is just shooting up this wood. Hmm, okay. Alright, let's go into the orders phase. Uh, things we need to do, we still need to keep suppressing the infantry in this area. We are now lined up. So let's just creep you forward. You need to uh, move over this direction. Let's just have you over. So I really want them to move in once the firing starts. What are you guys up to? Not much. Yeah, for one more action square, have a look what's going on over there. 
And you might try and... Well, I don't think we'll be the angle really to harass this guy. Oh, maybe. I'll watch, make sure he's not preparing to... Give me a pretty bad day. Hmm. Not sure about that. We'll probably give him a little bit of a blast and then run away, I think. So let's do a 15 second. That seems reasonable. And then we'll pull out. Good. We're here. Ah, lots of just general unpleasantness. I do kind of like that angle that he was going for. Although, let's maybe change it slightly. I expect that guy to die pretty soon at some point. We've seen he's got a team moving around there. Um, oh, I forgot to check your casualties. Oh, and of course, the guy with the javelin launcher is the one that got taken out. Can't even see it. So I'm actually going to leave you there to try and recover it because I sorely need these launchers. And here, the guy with the javelin launcher got taken out. That is brutal. Which means my only standing javelins at the minute are way over here, which is not doing much for anyone, and the team there, which, uh, well, team one guy. We'll see he's never getting sight on that blooming thing over there. Hmm, okie dokie. You're still hitting that area, which I think is fine. We're having to want here. Yeah, I think we are uh, starting to get ourselves in a pretty unpleasant situation. Chaps doing a very good job of just slowly eroding things. Uh, seems to ever so much, ever, well, I want to sound like sour grapes. Slightly, I think, gets the, the Rub of a luck sometimes when our forces clash. Other times I think it's fairly good play and positioning on his part. Okay, and you have been just firing blankly into there. I'm going to pull that back. Oh no, you cancelled it. You are firing blindly. You have stopped. Fine. Uh, and now he's got a Bradley coming over this way, which uh, to be expected, to be honest. So I think what we need to do is start moving this around. Let's, well, you guys are going to potentially bash into each other, so let's be a little bit smarter about this. I know the other guy's got uh, 15 seconds, so we'll get in here and we'll get out of his way. We'll probably try and come around and park ourselves somewhere over here, so we can maybe get a bit of eyes. Um, we'll probably have to get our scout out. Oh, it's all reversing. Hang on. Uh, our, our scout team out, even though he's controlling UAV, to get an additional pair of eyes out in this direction. And ideally, if one of these guys can recover enough, we're going to park them in this wood line just to act as a scout for this Bradley who's trying to flanking maneuver over here. Good. Here, I think we're going to keep with the kind of Tempting fate with the pop. We know we certainly you can time things, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, do 30. Let's get forward to here. And open fire upon these woods. And then run away again. Okie dokie. I need to leave him there because he needs to recover the person. Uh, similarly, you guys are going to come downstairs because I would need, I'd like you to try and recover that launcher, not that you have any missiles left. And you kind of hang around there, not doing very much of anything. Mm. All right, I'm going to leave it as I feel like the ring might be on the wall here. There's still 10 minutes left. Uh, and I think at some point we're just not going to have the ability to hold off all the angles. But we'll see how that goes. All right, I'll see you in the next one.